Welcome to this series of videos about functional programming in Kotlin with Arrow. Arrow is a library packed with data types and type classes in order to bring functional programming to Kotlin. In this video, we are going to learn about the either T data type, what it is, and how to use it. Either T data type is used when an either value is wrapped inside another type. In this sense, it's similar to the option T data type. Here, we can see an either wrapped inside an asynchronous computation, inside a list, or inside an I.O. One way to create this either T is to take the values of the previous examples and just pass it to an either T constructor, as you can see here. So now we will see how we can operate with either T. In the first line, we see how an either T of an IO effect is defined, and then we can use fault to operate directly with the nested either values. The second argument is a function for operating with the left case of the nested either. In this example, we will return an IO of there was an error. Since a either is a left, we will return an IO of there was an error. The third argument is a function to operate with the right case of the nested either. In this example, we simply return the value of the right case if the either is a right. Since this either is a right, we will return an IO of 99. Another advantage of either t is that we can operate over the right values with map. So in this example, we can see an either t defined and how to provide a transformation for the right value. With the result of this, and since this either was a right case, the transformation will be 99 plus 1, hence 100. We have mentioned that map operates over the right value. So in this example, we can see that if the wrapped either is a left, the defined transformation inside the map will never be applied, and that either t will return the left case. Let's go with flat map. Imagine that we define two either t instances. With either t and flat map, we can compose them. The result of operating over the first either t, if it is a right, will be to take the integer and sum it with the second. In the examples, the respective right values are 1 and 2. In the flat map operation, we sum them. Composing multiple either t's can result in a lot of nested code if we do it with flat map. There is an easier way to do this with Arrow, by doing a comprehension with binding. As we see in the code, we compose the values by using bind in each either t. With the monad binding for either t, we can call bind sequentially and get the right values for each either t instance. If any of the either t instances is a left value, the comprehension would short circuit yielding the first left it finds. In this case, the result will return the left value for b. In this example, we have several either t's with uuid, string, and int in the right values. With arrow, we can map over all three of them with the applicative builder. If they all contain right values, we can compose them inside a new data class, where we see that the types are preserved. Today we have learned about the either t data type in Arrow. Arrow comes with several other data types and type classes in order to bring functional programming to your Kotlin development. You'll be able to learn more about those in future videos. Thanks for watching.